Okay, I upgraded to SAS 9.3, which is a 64-bit version. And it apparently has problems whenever you try to use 32-bit uh, modules that come from programs like Microsoft Excel or Access. So the problem is when you try to import an Excel data set into the 64-bit version of SAS, you're liable to have some problems. So I usually used to do this by using the import wizard and you go up here and of course you can import many different formats and I'm told this problem affects other formats besides just Microsoft data sets. So, um, okay, I upgraded to SAS 9.3 which is a 64-bit version and it apparently has problems whenever you try to use 32-bit uh, modules that come from programs like Microsoft Excel or Access. So the problem is when you try to import an Excel data set into the 64-bit version of SAS, you're liable to have some problems. So I usually used to do this by using the import wizard. And you go up here, and of course, you can import many different formats. And I'm told this problem affects other formats besides just Microsoft data set. So um, at any rate, we'll, we'll see how this works. So we go to next and we're going to go to our computer and try to get the data set that we want. And this one is called Sciences Data. And when we click OK, we see this message here, connection failed, see log for details. And then we see here the log messages connect, class not registered, uh, error in live name statement. Uh, it's not going to work no matter how you try to bring it into SAS uh, using the import wizard. And so I went to the web and looked for an answer. The best solution I found was posted on this blog of the SAS dummy written by a gentleman named Chris Hemmendinger. And I hope I've said his name correctly. I'll establish a link to his page below. His post has some very good information. He's no SAS dummy in my book. This is where I went to solve my problem. I'm going to try to expand this a little bit so you can see it better. Following the advice of Mr. Himmendinger, we're going to write this program using PROC import. And first, I'm going to establish a live name. And my lab name that I'm using is just class. I have a file on my C drive that's called Sciences Data. I'm going to bring it into SAS using PROC import. And I'm going to ask SAS to create a SAS data set in the work directory. And I want it to be called Sciences. The data file that I'm asking SAS to import is this Excel data set on my C drive called Sciences Data. Okay, so C colon backslash Sciences Data. DBMS, I suppose it stands for Database Management System, but I'm not sure. XLS, that's the format that my SAS data set is in. And that's the program right there. I'm going to come up here and click the Running Man icon. And it says the import data set has 799 observations and 12 variables. Note Work Doc Sciences data set was successfully created. Proc import, blah, blah, blah. Second, I'm going to just show you that not every type of file is affected by this changeover in 64-bit processing SAS. So I'm going to show you that I can bring a SPSS file into SAS using the import wizard. So I think I have a file up here on uh, the C drive. Let me just see. Oops, not going to be there. Uh, let's see. There's one. So we'll just call this one health. And finish. And there, there you see it. So apparently this changeover does not affect uh, importing SPSS files into SAS. 
Okay, there's the link to Mr. Himmendinger's blog post that we used to figure out how to bring Excel into 64-bit SAS. His post references other ways to do this that might be useful. I've placed the link below in the information box. Then, here again, is the little program that we wrote using PROC IMPORT and based on Mr. Himmendinger's blog post. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped.